How's it going guys? Just trying to make a quick video today of a Viper remote start that I got from Best Buy. Just a simple little remote start. I was looking for a video like this just to see some of the features that it has and I couldn't find one. So I hope this will be helpful. Another big reason I'm making this video, I've had issues with um, starting at the first try. So a lot of times, actually 90% of the time, I would hit a button to start a car and it would crank over, but it wouldn't actually start. And then about, I want to say about 10 seconds later, the remote start automatically tries to start again and then it starts up. It was really annoying and I was told that's how it is, that's how it's going to be, but I was able to fix it in 10 minutes. So I'm going to show you how I did it and I'm just going to show you some of the functions on the remote. All right, so this is my, and sorry about the video, I'm using a gimbal. Um, I haven't used this gimbal in a long time. So if it's kind of all over the place, I apologize. So this is the, my Toyota Tacoma, it's 2014 V6. And this is the remote start that I got for it. So it's um, Viper 4115V. I couldn't really find this one on Viper website anymore. I'm assuming they're discontinuing it, but this should be true pretty much to all entry level uh, Viper remote starts. I don't want to go with anything fancy. I just want a basic, simple remote start because I can usually see my vehicle. Um, either it's a work or a home, so I don't need a two-way. All I see is the lights come on, so I know it's actually running. All right, so really quick, I'm just going to start it up for you. So this is the, the key fob, if it'll focus. Very simple, you know, I just, I don't want anything with LCD screen or anything like that. Just a basic little um, key fob. And all you do is just press it once, the light turns on. And there it goes. It might be a little loud. So by default it will run for 12 minutes. It's easy to change it. You can change up to an hour. I don't know why would somebody would to change it for an hour, but it's not hard to do. When you're ready to get in your vehicle, you press it once, again, and it unlocks all your doors, which is what I like. I don't want to just unlock the passenger, I want all doors unlocked so I don't have to keep hitting the button. I've got to let people in. If you want to shut the vehicle off, just press and hold again. So to start it, you just press it. To shut it off, you press and hold for about two seconds and it shuts off. I'm going to quickly show you how to do the takeover. And again, this would be true to all remote starts of this caliber, I guess. So press it once again. Once you unlock your doors, come up. And all you gotta do, you just put a key in the ignition. And in this one, it's one, two. So basically two clicks to on position. And as soon as you hit the brake pedal, that's it. You basically just took over for the remote start. So you can put it in drive and drive away. Very, very simple. One thing to keep in mind, if you do start it with the remote start, your factory key fob becomes disengaged. So the only way to unlock the doors is by hitting that uh, button, basically. All right, so now on to fixing the issue that I had. So certain vehicles crank a little longer than others. These Tacomas, it's kind of a known thing. Uh, it takes just a little longer to crank. And again, I went to two different places here in the city. They told me that it takes, it's normal for it to take a couple of tries to start it. And I just, I wasn't having any of that. So you know how they say, if you want to get something done right, do it yourself. So I basically found an installation guide for this particular remote uh, starter. And one thing I discovered is that menu 2 option 4 cranking time you can actually change it from 0.6 which is the default to up to 1.2 seconds i don't understand why because i even asked about tacoma uh, facebook page and there are people that have these or similar to these remote starts and i've been dealing with this issue for years easy fix so basically there's a valet button that your remote um, start comes with it's just a, a long cord with the button at the end it plugs into your module can't really see the module, it, I tucked it away um, pretty far over there. But just a little box, you can plug the remote wire to. Once you plug it in, there's a sequence 
of button presses and key turns, which I'll include this in a description link. And basically you end up getting to menu number two, you press so many clicks to get to feature number four, and then when you, while you're pressing down the valet button, you basically click the button on the remote start to advance to other options. If you own a Toyota Tacoma, you have this issue, simply switching to point eight fixes the problem right away. As you've seen in the video, it's annoying, especially if there's people around and you hit a button that doesn't start, it's kind of embarrassing, people think what's wrong with your car. Also in the winter time, colder months, I can see that being um, an issue with the battery. It's going to drain the battery a little more because it's just sitting in on position and cranking your motor. So hopefully this helps you. I know it definitely helped me. I wish there was a video like this when I was looking. And if you have any questions on how to do this, anything at all, leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks.